Min Min joins the battle. The ARMS DLC character is finally here. New stage added. New music added. You can now update the game to version 8.0.0 if you... Okay, cool. The Min Min Challenger Pack, which includes the fighter Min Min from ARMS, along with her stage, Spring Stadium, is now available for purchase. A Mii Fighter costume of Cali from the Splatoon series is now available for purchase. The Fighter Pass Volume 2, a bundle of six DLC Challenger Packs scheduled to be periodically released up until 2021, is available for purchase. It includes the Mii Min Challenger Pack, which can also be per can also be purchased separately. A Mii, Fire, a Mii Fighter costume of Hei Hachi from the Tekken series is now available for purchase. A Mii Fighter costume of Ninjaro from ARMS is now available for purchase. A Mii Fighter of Marie from the Splatoon series is now available for purchase. And this is the big one, in my opinion. A Mii Fighter costume of Vault Boy from the Fallout series is, is available for purchase, complete with a Vault 111 jumpsuit. This one I'm going to get. We are going to cover everything about the uh, Mii, Mii Challenger pack, like we always do when there's new characters. This is going to be the first Mii Fighter costume that I buy. So, I'll see you guys in classic mode as we play through as Mean Mean. Mean Mean's route, arms at the ready. Let's do this. Since I never played as this character before, I'm gonna start semi low. We'll go 2.5. Let's go. I know she has more of a range type of um, attacks. So, yeah, it should be fun. So, this is her stage right here. Um. Yeah, so this is her stage right here. I've never played ARMS. I know, add me to the list of terrible Switch owner. But, yeah. Wow, these actually, like, look decent. The, uh, the crowd in the background and in the stadium. So I don't really kind of... I don't know, I kind of see the stage and I'm like, ah, oh, yes, this is cool, that's it. I have nothing else to really add, honestly, because I've never played ARMS before. I want to, but uh, I just feel like there's not really a good enough time to play ARMS. And I say, and I mean that in a nice way, but I don't know. I kind of just, because I've heard it's really short. Like, you literally beat the game in one sitting. But I don't know. I'd rather get other Switch games I haven't gotten before. Like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Octopath Traveler, those type of games. Because, I don't know. Arms to me, I don't really want to spend the money on, like, oh, you can beat the game in one sitting. So, I, that's just me personally. However, I think Mean Mean and other uh, fighters like Twintella and Ninjara, I think they're really cool. So, it looks like her, um, the classic mode for Mean Mean here is all about characters who attack using arms, like Brawlers, Little Mac, all that kind of stuff. So it's not really for Mean Mean, I should say, it's more of just arms type of characters. A little bit of background information on Mean Mean, and it's going to be really little and vague. All I know due to the, tra the announcement trailer of... Announcing me mean as the uh, fighter, she has her own ramen shop. So yeah, I know her hair kind of reminds me of ramen. Same with like her hats, like a ramen bowl. And that's pretty much all the information that I know about her. Like I said, I have not played arms, so I don't know that much information about her. She's a really cool character. It's really awesome to see the different types of arms I'm switching with, like, down B. And how they're all different. Like, they do different types of attacks and different types of damage. But, yeah. I think she's a cool character. I'd like to try her out a bit more. Because, I don't know. It's been a while since, since I played Smash Brothers, like, all seriously. Or even the story mode of Smash Brothers. I do plan on coming back to this game. Not anytime soon, though. Go! 
Also, like, the types of enemies, like, why Donkey Kong has the, uh, white or gray alternate skin, I, I don't know the context for it. Kinda, so it kind of makes me wonder a little bit. But like I said, I've never played an arm, so... The context is kind of... It's not there. Or, at least for me, it's not. Excuse me. There we go. Yeah, she's really... She's a really good range character. And it's awesome switching her attacks using the down B button. I just want to see, like, Ready? control her more. And there should be new uh, spirit boards stages too, so yeah. By the way, here, I'm gonna do a couple taunts up here. Alright, now there's only one rob, I can finish the taunts. Alright, they're pretty cool. Ooh, let me get her final smash. There we go. Um, just in case, let me be right next to Rob. And wow, that was a fail. That was a huge, huge fail. Yeah, for, so for her final smash, she has to be right next to them. Um, I'm so mad at myself for doing that. That was just a failure. Oh, cool. Mean, mean versus mean, mean. Got it. We'll uh, view the final smash later. That was nice. And, okay, so... Now we should be doing race to the finish. Oh, man. Still haven't replaced this one, I see. Alright, I'm not trying to sound mean or anything like that, but I just... I, I don't like this one at all. I wish they would have added, like, target practice or something or break the targets excuse me yes this one makes well actually uh, i was actually gonna see master hand or hand or crazy hand that would have made sense but this one makes probably a bit more sense so nope Now he's angry. Uh, it's been a while since I've first against Gallium. I don't remember his attacks. There we go. Like I said, I wasn't really on the most highest difficulty, so it wasn't that difficult. Yeah, so far, I'm liking Mean Mean quite a bit. Nice. nice work. All right. Let's, um, let's do this as well. 
I mean, of course, I want to make any sense of changing anything since we're, you know, six DLC fighters in. Why would they change it now? I mean, that would be great if they were like, moving forward, we're going to add target or break the targets or something besides race to the finish. And then the ending credits is going to be something completely brand new that you've never seen. Why are we changing it? Because AD and 95 complained about it so many times. And I have, and I have. It seems like each and every single Super Smash Bros. video I've made, it's always been like, oh, here we go, here's this boring nonsense, and then, like, race to the finish, and then the end credits, but... Yeah. The arms theme that you're barely, you can barely, uh, let's hear in the background, Really, really good. Of course, we're gonna go over the soundtrack here right after this as well, but man, I love the main theme to ARMS. What a phenomenal song. The other songs in ARMS, uh, they're, they're okay at best, I should say. Yeah, I, I was gonna say they're okay at best. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know really what else to say. Just I'm kind of just, I'm just over this, over this, the credits and all that kind of good stuff. I wonder who the next DLC fighters are. I can literally see someone from Octopath Traveler maybe get a more RPG re representation in Smash Brothers, even though we have pretty much one. 1 18th of the cast of the Fire Emblem characters in this game, but I, I don't know. That'd be awesome to see more RPG representation. That's, well, I was gonna say that's not from Square Enix, but Octopath Traveler is from Square Enix, so uh, I don't know. Alright, now we can skip through it. Alright. Mean Mean is Mean Mean's a pretty cool character. Let's see her spirit. Results. Mean mean fighter. Skull kid, okay. Magneton, nice. Alright, cool. Let's head over to Smash Mode and go over soundtrack, Final Smash, all that kind of good stuff. See you guys over there. Okay. There's not really that many new arm song, but let's let's give each of them a little bit of a listen.
All right. I, you know what? A couple things. One, I do apologize. I've been pronouncing Min, it's Min Min, not Min Min. Min Min. Um, that's how you pronounce her name. I've been mispronouncing it throughout this whole video. Second thing as well is that I take back what I said about all oh, arms has terrible music. No, it has really good music. It has phenomenal uh, music. I just am an idiot and kind of played the game and made, oh, it's just the main theme's the only good one. No, but there's other good ones. Trying to all right. So a couple things I want to show off. One, the final smash, and then I kind of want to just play Min Min more in action. And yeah, okay, let me get that. No, get out of here, Yoshi. There we go. All right. All right, one of you get over here. Okay, so it's just really a, you just she just reaches out. She's like she doesn't go, like she doesn't like hook up or anything like that. Oh, I kind of wish she did. I think that would make her final smash, in my opinion, the best to activate. Probably the most overpowered one. Oh Jesus! Okay, I knew that was, that was gonna happen. Get out of the way. Oh, are you serious? Are you serious? I was the only one that got away. Her recovery is amazing. Oh my gosh. Whoa. That was amazing range. Dude, okay. Can I get my final smash activated again? Sorry, Ryu. I... Oh, okay, Ryu's out. Wow, I kind of forgot uh, Yoshi's final smash in this game. They changed it up and made it the melee uh, intro scene. Alright, get... I was gonna say, get over here, Lucina. Yeah, so it's pretty much, I don't wanna say, I don't wanna say majority of the ARMS characters, but the main ones that people know and love join in and help Min Min attack uh, who, whoever gets caught in it. It's cool, I like it. It reminds me of uh, Mega Man's Final Smash or even um, Dragon Quest Final Smash, so. Kind of hoping whoever the next DLC fighter is, they'll, they'll do something... Something better, not a Final Smash that's like, alright, let's get all the other, uh, like, characters from whatever franchise it's from in here. I just, I don't know. I feel like that would be a more unique kind of Final Smash than... Oh, that was close. Than what we've been seeing recently, in my opinion. Oh, dude. Oh, are you... Get... Oh, that was terrible, Yoshi. Ooh, missed. Thank gosh. I mean, it wouldn't have done anything. Dude, Yoshi, get the heck out of here with that nonsense. All right, cool. So that was Min Min and a little bit of um, action plus her final smash. Let's head over and her vi one of her victory poses as well. Let's head over to the spirit board and see what kind of spirits we're going up against. 
All right, brand new spirit board, uh, DLC spirits. So we've already got uh, Screen Man, Ribbon Girl, Ninjara, Master Mummy, Kid Cobra, Bite and Bark, Twin Tail, which we've already completed, Mechanica, Helix, Max Brass. So let's go start with Ribbon Girl since we've already completed um, a few of them. I'm trying to think, is it red that's. Yeah, that's red that's in. Uh, more super effective against green. I gotta remember the, me the mechanics and. Whoa, okay, we'll use Joker for this battle. Next one, we gotta switch over to Min Min. Switching over to Min Min now. Ribbon Girl. Was she not in the game or did I just not unlock her? Huh. Weird. Uh, yes. Same spirits, just different fighter. Choose your fighter. Min Min. Min Min. Let's do this. I really like Min Min as a fighter. Hopefully I can spend more time with her and... Probably be my new main. I don't know. I just Joker they nerfed completely that I'm just like I don't really want to play as them anymore. Lucina's my main right now, might be Min Min. Go! There we go. Victory! This this stage kinda sucks. Ninjara. Really good idea using Greninja as the fighter. Alright, Master Mummy, let's switch over to Green Spirits. Yeah, so pretty much what I had before. Mm, okay, let's do it. Okay, so Donkey Kong, the gray Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong is to represent Master Mummy. Go! Uh, is there a reason why I already have 60? There we go. Cool. It was probably, uh, Master Mummy is probably, um, like they don't flinch. Uh, let's switch over to red primary spirits. Yeah, let's just raise our stamina up. I mean, this shouldn't be too difficult. It's only an advanced spirit, so. It's a giant windy, great. Ready? Go! Yeah, I think we're good on stamina. Oh my gosh, yeah, we're we're doing well on stamina. That was way too easy. So we already have Twintella. So let's head over to Bite and Bark. Defeat the main fighter to win, the enemy is metal. Okay, that should be somewhat easy. Maybe we should switch our secondary spirits because I don't think this is a stamina battle. Oh, cool, Duck Hunt Dog, nice. There we go. So far, the spirits haven't been too difficult. They're not like the Dragon, Dragon Quest spirits. Those spirits were, especially the last one. Oof. That was difficult. All right, here we are. Bring it into the more 
difficult type of spirits. Let's see here. Or, okay, auto pick. Super armor, what is the, um... The enemy has increased move speed when the enemy is at high damage. The enemy starts the battle with a drill. Oh, yay, excellent. Ready? That was close. Little, uh... Item, uh... Reliant there. Alright, you stay over there. Yep, we got them, uh, cornered. Oh, oh, nope. There we go. Yeah, I know. I was just making fun of them for being item reliant, but I kind of just want to get this out of the way. I was gonna say sometime soon. I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of an annoying battle. That wasn't really that fun. That was just more of an annoyance. Gosh, we got still two more. This one's gonna be super easy, so I'll just switch over to red. Yeah, let's just do it. Uh, oh wait, no, no, sorry. Switch over to green. Excuse me, not red. All right, let's do it. The enemy is giant after a little while. Only certain Pokemon will emerge from Pokeballs. Assuming it's gonna be Ditto. I don't know, just Helix. Go! Yep, I should've known. Helix reminds me of a Ditto. That was beyond easy. All right, last one is Master Brass? Oh, Max Brass, excuse me. Max Brass. Let's use Alucard again. Assuming this is gonna be a stamina battle. The enemy is giant when the enemy is at high damage. Stamina battle, the enemy has increased attack power when the enemy is at high damage. Great! And it's King K rule. Go! Oh great, here we go. I believe this is for the rest of the map, so... Oh dude, okay, ooh! Yes, but it's not going to defeat him. That didn't do anything, holy cow, whoa! Oh great, it's going to be one of these type of spirit battles, you know, like the ones where, ah, uh, ah, uh, no, I don't. Yeah, no, I don't like these type of spirit battles. We'll try it again, but if I don't get it, it's going to be whatever. It's like the ones that are like, oh, it starts off easy, but then it gets like impossibly like difficult. Yeah. 
All right, let's try that one more time. Ready? Go! Oh my gosh, yes, finally. Sorry, there was no commentary on that one, but oh my gosh. Yes, Max Brass. Finally, dude. Critical Super Giant. Yes. So that's pretty much it for Min Min. However. Nice, 10,000 gold. There's one more thing I want to show you all with this character pack. But it's not really included with the character pack. You have to buy it separately. So I'm going to show you in just one quick moment. You didn't think I would forget to show you Bolt Boy himself in action. Now, I've never used him, so I don't know how he plays. I don't really like the me outfits. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really a big fan of them. I just, just kind of bought it because I'm like, eh, why not? And that's pretty much it for the end of uh, Min Min. Or Min Min. So, excuse me, Min Min. I don't know why I wanted to see Min Min. Min Min, because Min Min's a win win. I like her as a character. I cannot wait to uh, try her out a bit more. I need a brand new main, so. With all that being said, I'll see you guys on the next video.